My name is Dr. Ari Novik. I'm a licensed psychotherapist uh, with a specialization in anger and stress management. I own an agency that specializes in anger management. I'm the co-author of two uh, popular client workbooks in the field of anger management. I also own a training organization uh, that trains anger management providers throughout the country. My agency uh, offers classes, uh, weekly classes, to um, uh, a variety of different populations from people that are self-referred, people that are referred by their employer, some people that are referred through the probation or court system. My practice also ranges from celebrity and professional athletes to you know people that are blue-collar uh, uh, workers as well. Um, you know, anger doesn't really discriminate. So you tend to see people from a variety of uh, cultures, uh, socioeconomic settings, and um, as well as uh, different jobs and professions. My anger management program was uh, developed after a pretty exhaustive literature review. Uh, there's uh, very few uh, effective models for uh, helping people manage anger. And um, after uh, me and the co-creator of the model um, put it together. It's received numerous approvals and awards. Um, our anger management models approved actually all the way up at a state level by the California Department of Corrections, which is called the Correction Standard Authority now. But um, so we train probation, correctional staff, uh, and correctional officers in this model, and it works extremely well for uh, all different types of populations. People that we see uh, individually for anger management coaching, typically it's about 10 sessions. If they're referred by their employer or they're referred by the court system, could be longer because sometimes they'll have their own mandate for it. Typically it's about uh, eight to 10 sessions. You can get through all the material and it uh, gives enough time for the participant to practice those skills and, and feel comfortable with it. Most people just want to be reinforced with um, praise. You know, I mean, most of us want to hear that we're doing a good job or that we've done something right or that we're making improvements. Um, you know, more often than not, one of the big things missing in, uh, in our educational system in general is just, you know, letting people know that, they've, that they're doing well um, and acknowledging even the small, you know, granular steps that people make in, uh, in adapting and, and making changes. And so I really make an effort to bring up the things that people are doing well to point them out and to give those accolades, um, you know, as frequently as possible, but without being, uh, you know, so overt about it that it seems inauthentic. And our model is so unique that uh, it doesn't really compare to anyone else. Our model uh, includes things like how to have forgiveness, you know, skills in forgiveness, how to improve your internal dialogue and self-talk. Uh, skills and optimism, how to respond instead of react. So that's basically teaching people skills and how to improve their judgment and impulse control, which is obviously a big part of what causes problems for people behaviorally. Um, we also cover skills in um, uh, taking timeouts and learning how to stay calm and cool down. You know, our model is one of uh, the only models out there that really covers a very wide range of skills and interventions that aren't included in any other curriculum I've ever seen. Our approach is that we do you know, pre and post assessments for everyone that we see so we can really get a good baseline understanding of, of where some of the problems lie with them before we start working with that individual. Um, and then at the end of their anger management, we, we can do a post-assessment and really see kind of concretely where they've made improvements. And so it's uh, helpful for me as the uh, clinician working with them, but it's also helpful for the client too because they can, you know, um, also see uh, more than just, you know, kind of their feeling about it, but actually on paper where that movement has been. And, th and that's really reinforces, again, that kind of um, good behavior and, uh, and those positive strokes that, that people need to hear when they're trying to make changes. People that go through our programs uh, praise it. So uh, I have never in my experience in the last five years had anyone go through our anger management program that looked at me and said, this program wasn't helpful at all. That just doesn't happen. Anger management is a skill, so it's not psychotherapy. And so like any skill, if you don't practice it or you have no interest in it, uh, you're obviously not going to improve. The purpose of anger management is to learn how to change your response and your behaviors when you do get upset. Anger is a normal human emotion. Everyone gets angry. Uh, but the way you choose to respond and react in those situations is what makes all the difference in the world. And